A blessed afternoon to all. This Eucharistic celebration is currently streamed every day through the Facebook page of San Lorenzo Ruiz Parish. While viewing this live streaming at your homes, please join us in the responses and songs of the celebration. Today is the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the theme of our celebration is All for the Lord, like Mary, our Mother. This October, the month of the missions and the month of the rosary, we are invited to widen the horizon of our concerns and to embrace the world with the love of Mary, the mother of Jesus and our mother. Our love and our rosaries will go a long way in helping our missionaries both in their spiritual and material needs. But much of the fruitfulness of our prayers will depend on the way we live. The parable in today's gospel warns us not to become like those tenants who betrayed God's trust. Instead, we should be loyal stewards to give to the Lord the best harvest of our energies and our efforts. Please stand and let us begin our celebration to be led by our priest presider, Father Nino Etulie. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, poured out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dread and to give what prayer does not dare to us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The special relationship between Israel and Yahweh was symbolized through various images derived from the ordinary life of the people. One of them was that of a vineyard, which was the object of the Lord's special care, but which fell short of its owner's expectations, as we learn from today's first reading. A proclamation from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Let me now sing of my friend, my friend's song concerning his vineyard. My friend had a vineyard on a fertile hillside. He spaded it, cleared of its stones, and planted the choicest vines. Within it, he built a watchtower and hewed out a wine press. Then he looked out for the crop of grapes, but what it yielded was wild grapes. Now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I had not done? Why, when I look out for the crop of grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? Now I will let you know what I mean to do with my vineyard. Take away its hedge, give it to grazing, break through its walls, let it be trampled. Yes, I will make it ruin. It shall not be pruned or hoed, but overgrown with thorns and briars. I will command the cloud not to send rain upon it. The vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are his cherished plant. He looked for judgment, but see bloodshed, for justice, but hark the outcry. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. A vine from Egypt you transplanted. You drove away the nations and planted it. It put forth its foliage to the sea. It shoots as far as the river. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Why have you broken down its walls, so that every passerby plucks its fruit, and the boar from the forest lay its waste? and the beasts of the field feed upon it. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect why your right hand has planted, the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Then we will no more withdraw from you, Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. O Lord God of hosts, restore us. If your face shine upon us, then we shall be saved. The vineyard of the Lord is the house of Israel. Today's second reading has a most refreshing tone because it teaches us what the usual disposition of a believer should be. The second part has been dubbed, the Charter of the Christian Humanism, as it lists the major human virtues we all should practice. A proclamation from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, 
Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When Bended's time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and the third they stoned. Again, he sent another servants more numerous than the first ones but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, This is the ear. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those rich men to a rich debt and lease his vineyards to the other tenants, who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon. And welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. In the scriptures, the kingdom of God is often described with the images from everyday life. In our readings today, use the images of divines and a vineyard to illustrate God's relationship with us. And in our gospel today, Jesus tells the chief priests and the elders that indeed the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruits. This does not mean that God reaches a limit to His mercy and gives up on everyone. It means that if we persist in opposing God's 
God's love, God's mercy for us, a love fully revealed in the sacrifice of His Son, then we exclude ourselves from His kingdom. God's plan is ultimately not defeated by human failures, by human lapses, by our shortcomings, or by any human sin. But if we refuse the remedy for sin, then we make ourselves into wicked tenants and we bring upon ourselves the effects of that self-destruction choice. One of my friends shared the other day, sabi niya, Father, madali lang naman makita kung yung isang tao ay hindi marunong magtanaw ng utang na loob. Madali lang naman, Father, makita yung isang pamayanan na pinasok na ng self-interest ng kasakiman, hindi na marunong magpasalamat. Kapag wala na sa bukabularyo yung term na sharing, ibig sabihin, hindi na ito naayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. And I, I reflect yung mga sinabi niya. At tiningnan ko yung buhay natin ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Nasa pamayanan pa ba yung term na sharing? Yung term na caring? Yung term na malasakit? At nakita naman po, despite of our limitations, despite of many, maraming mga hindi dapat maraming mga ipinagbabawal. Tuloy pa rin naman, visible pa rin naman sa community yung pagtanaw ng utang na loob sa generosity na ipinagkakaloob ng Diyos. Tuloy pa rin naman yung pagpapakita ng malasakit at hindi pa rin naman nawawala sa bukabularyo yung salitang sharing kahit sa mga maliliit na bagay. At yun din naman po siguro yung nakita. Hindi lang nakita kung hindi ipinadama ng bawat isa sa atin nung nakaraang piyesta. Hindi lang nung nakaraang piyesta kung hindi yung buong panahon hanggang ngayon na tayo ay nasa pandemya. Na tayo ay nasa pandemya. Ipinapakita kung ano yung dapat ibalik sa Diyos. Sabi nga, being a Christian is a privilege. Subalit, bilang Kristiyano, hindi sapat na tayo ay nagdadasal. Nakokontento sa pagsisimba. Higit sa lahat, dapat namumunga ang ating pananampalataya. Namumunga ang ating pananampalataya. At higit sa lahat, alam natin na tayo ay mga katiwala lang ng Diyos. Na tayo ay mga katiwala lang ng Diyos. Sapagkat kapag nakalimutan natin na tayo ay katiwala, maaaring mapasukan ang ating puso at ang ating isipan ng kasakiman. Sabi nga po, ano ba ang tingin natin sa ating kapwa lingkod? Ano ba yung tingin natin sa ating kapwa kristiyano? Katuwang o karibal? Katuwang o kakumpetensya? Sana yung tingin natin sa bawat isa ay katuwang sa misyon ni Kristo. Amen.
Together, we, we profess our faith. I believe, I believe in one in God, God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the glory to judge the living and the dead and his and kingdom, kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the, the life, life of the, the world, world to come. come. Amen. Amen. We are grateful to the Lord for His trust and generosity towards us. Let us address our petition to Him for all the needs of mankind, the Church, and each of us. Let our response be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. that the entire community and Catholic believers may always offer to the Lord fruits of loyalty, obedience, and generous service. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That the Holy Father and our spiritual and civil leaders may continue to inspire us by their words and example to serve the Lord faithfully and thereby build God's kingdom on earth. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us that our missionaries and lay volunteers may reap a bountiful harvest of conversions in the nations where they exercise their ministry let us pray lord graciously hear us that all filipino catholics may show an ever greater appreciation for the work of our missionaries and support them both spiritually and materially let us pray lord graciously hear us that our community and our families may praise god at all times and fill their minds only with what is good pure and holy let us pray lord graciously hear us that all of us may reject abortion the death penalty euthanasia and extrajudicial killings and instead promote and respect life let us pray lord graciously hear us let us pray in silence for our personal intentions let us pray lord graciously hear us lord god the source of our fruitfulness and hope we thank you for all your trust and patience with us may all our days be a hymn of praise and thanksgiving to you who live and care forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory for, of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. In His coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us joyfully proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Roberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to de receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities. 
but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray, pray for us. Saint Pedro Kalungsod, pray, pray for us. Maraming salamat po sa pamayanan ng Saint Dominic. Uh, October is the month of the Holy Rosary. So we have Rosary every 8 p.m. po sa gabi if you want to join us. Also this coming Wednesday is the Feast of Our Lady of Holy Rosary. We will have our dawn procession at 5 o'clock around Sierra Verde 1 if you want to join. Then after the dawn procession, magkakaroon po ng misa ng 6 a.m. So you're welcome to join the celebration online or here inside the church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.